What's up guys, welcome back to Hotchkiss Performance and also part 3 of the auto leather care guide that we've been covering on this channel. So, I will leave part 1 and 2 in the description below. If you haven't watched those yet, I would recommend you do because that gives a better understanding of this stage and all the videos do link together and kind of complement each other. If you watch it through to the end, then you will you know understand the whole process involved with uh, just from what auto leather actually is to cleaning to this video which is the difference between a leather conditioner and a leather protector so coming back to this video once you've cleaned your leather you're probably thinking is there any way i can sort of protect it or seal it you know just like your car paint work you clean it to a really good standard and now you want to protect it from the dirt and grime and grease and all that nasty stuff and there is actually a way you can do that and this is actually a leather protector that you can use but I'll get more into that uh, in further on in the video let's just get right into it okay so hopefully when I've explained the steps here you'll understand why we don't need to ever use a leather conditioner to condition our leather so if we go back to the first step and I explained this in part one uh, what how auto leather is actually made uh, so if you haven't watched that yet I do suggest you go and watch it because that does kind of contribute to this video but if you're not and you're staying here then all good so leather has a 20% moisture content and the important word there is moisture okay so we need to keep this moisture balanced to around a 20% content which is why we use the water based products that I explained in part 2 uh, because the leather actually has the ability to absorb and reject moisture so using the products, the water-based products that LTT produce, you will keep this at a very good balance, um, you know, so it keeps the leather subtle and doesn't dry out and crack. So when leather is manufactured, it goes through a process called neutralisation. And this is where any natural excess fat oils from the animal skin are actually removed so now we're left with a piece of skin that doesn't contain any natural occurring animal fats or basically anything natural is just stripped straight from the skin nothing natural remains and then it then goes through a process called fat liquoring or retanning and this is where new fats are introduced back into the leather but these are actually chemically attached to basically each and every fiber of the leather so and they will stay in the leather for years to come you know they're not going to come out um, or break down or anything unless it's really really old leather or in rare circumstances where it's cleaned um, or bathed in very aggressive chemicals so to summarize all the natural stuff has been taken out and then new stuff has been put in but it's been chemically attached so there's nothing natural left basically so when people talk about feeding the leather You can't feed something that's dead. It's not a living thing. There's no need to condition it because it's not alive. And a lot of these conditioners kind of market themselves and sell on the fact that you need to feed this piece of skin because it's like our skin, it's human skin and it, it needs to be kept nice and subtle and, you know fed with nutrients 
you don't need to feed anything because all you're doing if we come to this section when they say you need to you know apply this cream or this balm into the leather all you're doing is adding a sticky layer of oil or wax onto the clear coat which is on top of the leather so this is your leather and then you've got the, the clear coat so these feeds never touch the leather they just never go into it you know leather can absorb and reject moisture because moisture and water-based products can pass through this top surface into the leather and back out now with these products a lot of them do contain oils and waxes and, and fats now these are a heavier molecular structure so they won't they'll just sit on top of the of the clear coat and won't be able to pass through that coat and into the leather so you're not feeding or conditioning anything other than this clear coat and it's just sticking on it's leaving a sticky barrier for all these abrasive contaminants to stick into it so it's actually counterproductive because you, you're causing a, a better bond for the dirt to stick to which will just wear away the clear coat finish on top of the leather so these conditioners are pointless basically so what do you use well LTT the same products were used in the part 2 video actually uh, manufacture a protector for your leather now protector sits on top of the clear coat so that any contaminants you know the dirt and the grease and the body oils sit on top of the protector so they're not even like touching the clear coat finish they're sitting on top of there so any abrasion that happens you know as you're getting in and out of your vehicle it's just passing over the top of the protector and eventually it will wear your protector down but that's better than it you know wearing the clear coat finish down so a protector is all you need to keep your leather protected from you know dirt and like dye stains that you get off new jeans and uh, UV fading um, you know any any body oil or anything like that or stains you know it'll hit the protector rather than go straight onto the clear coat so you literally only need a protector you don't need to condition it because you, you can't condition it because it's got a clear coat finish on it so why do companies sell so much conditioner you know you're probably thinking well there's loads of companies that produce these leather conditioners well a lot of these companies aren't experts in every field that they actually sell in I'm not throwing any negativity out to these companies it's just a, it's just a fact that you know if a company is an expert on wax for example and they're passionate about the wax that they produce they're gonna put the majority or you know mainly all of their resources and time effort and money into the research of a wax and how to create the best wax obviously with detailing there's so many different avenues of of products you know is it there's your exterior products your interior products um, your paint sealants your paint waxes etc etc leather is a part of detailing so the companies that sell all of these products they have to produce a leather product and because there's a lot of false information around and misconceptions and myths with these leathers and how you should treat them and uh, look after them you do see that conditioning seems to be a thing now going way back probably around the you know 70s 
where they did need conditioning because it didn't have a clear coat finish over the top it, it was just bare leather so obviously so it didn't dry out and crack and you know become damaged you did have to like condition the leather to keep it subtle so conditioning was you know what you needed to do a long time ago but obviously auto leather has come on that much modern leathers are manufactured much much uh, more efficiently so you know they're probably just thinking these companies will think okay we need a leather cleaner and probably most of the cleaners are okay you know they do the job but and then they just think oh we need it we'll, we'll put a conditioner in there because that just seems to be the the thing to do so if you're not an expert in leather then you're not going to put your time and your research into finding out about the proper ways to care for it and look after it um, whereas LTT product you know all they focus on is leather so all of their resources resources their time their effort goes into leather products leather care and leather protection you know and leather repair so LTT do offer a protector I will leave a link in the description below because uh, they do actually do two different types of protectors where they have a dark leather surface or a light leather surface so make sure when you do purchase if you are going to buy a protector you do purchase the correct one so and that pretty much wraps it up um, I just wanted to clear this up you know because automatically you think okay I've cleaned it now what do I do I need to do something with it do I condition it no you don't need to condition it because you're not conditioning anything these conditioners are counterproductive they just sit on top of the clear coat to create a barrier of um, you know stickiness to for dirt to stick to and it'll just wear your clear coat probably quicker than if you didn't put anything on it so obviously go for a protector because the protector sits on top uh, of the clear coat and protects it from all the contamination so it doesn't actually touch your clear coat finish so your leather will last a lot longer uh, using a protector uh, so that's basically all you need to use when after you've cleaned your leather that'll do donkey that'll do awesome so that's everything covered uh, i just wanted to make a clear series of videos on this particular topic uh, with auto leather care because it is quite an in-depth uh, subject uh, so hopefully you know that you've watched these videos you've got a better understanding of how we you know properly clean maintain and protect the leather and you aren't using these leather conditioners that are basically a load of f if you would like me to do more of these videos uh, you know in separate parts uh, so you can watch the section that you're most interested in please let me know down in the comments and also anything else that you'd like me to cover on the channel I uh, would like to know your feedback on on these videos as well as others uh, you know cause your opinions are very valued and we do uh, love to hear from you so don't forget to subscribe i will put the subscribe icon here and i'll also put the part one and two for the auto leather care videos along that side of the screen i think i hope they are and i'll also link them down in the description below so as always guys, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Cheers.